What's up everyone, it's Kathy with Money Vesting. So in this video, we are gonna be talking about Kathy Wood at ARK Invest and her uh, conversation with Carl at Squawk on the Street just about 10 to 11 hours ago. So we're gonna break down everything that she talked about with respect to interest rates, money supply, inflation, the Fed, fiscal monetary policy, and then talking about innovation stocks, of course. And I'll kind of share my thoughts on what she also said as well. So first thing she talks about is that innovation stocks are deeply, deeply dislocated and the most dislocated ever they've ever been. And uh, bond markets at one point had never performed so poorly. So if you go back to 2022, that was one of the worst years for the bond market. And we had to pretty much go back to the 1700s to really understand um, a much worse performance for the bond market, right? So it was it was pretty brutal for that 60-40 stock bond portfolio. Now, long duration assets were creamed uh, during 2022 and Kathy would believe that inflation is coming down now. It always seems like it will come down a little bit faster, but uh, she believes that it is on its way down. And even companies that have pricing power are struggling and they are losing their volume right now. And uh, Kathy would further says that we do think consumer is reeling against inflation and so is the fed they are certainly doing their part and money supply she mentions is down a little bit over three percent year over year and uh, we haven't seen a decline in money supply since the great depression in the 1920s um, and money supply again follows a little bit of inflation if there's more money circulating in the economy if there's more money supply obviously inflation is going to be a little bit higher if money supply is declining if it's coming down there is a possibility that inflation also rotates back lower. Um, the Fed wants to make sure that it is doing its job and job owning is part of it is what Kathy Wood says, meaning that they want to make people believe that they are actually doing something, they're doing their job. And equity markets, she says, are beginning to see to the other side. She says that maybe the Federal Reserve does another 25 basis points or 50 basis points, but the market should be looking to the other side. And January data came in very, very strong. So again, you know, somebody did push back on Kathy Wood's analysis, talking about uh, January data coming in very strong, PC numbers moving in the wrong direction. We are actually moving back higher. And uh, we could see a series of rate hikes. Right now, the Fed Funds futures kind of pricing in for 75 basis point hike in the next three meetings um, and keeping rates higher for longer. But Kathy Wood to that responds and says, and I quote, this reminds me of the early 1980s in earlier in her career when it was the same thing. She said, those who bet on low inflation and interest rates uh, over the longer term were the real winners. So pretty much what she's saying is that over the longer term, we will have lower inflation and lower interest rates. And it will be those who bet on this thesis be the real winners over the longer term. And the data, she says, is very volatile and it is a little distorted in January of 2023 because if the numbers were bumped due to some seasonal factors in the month of January, it will work itself out towards the end of the year. And people also do seem to mix uh, Kathy Wood and ARK Invest ETFs with other speculative bets. They are not the same. And Kathy Wood also mentions that the muscle memory has more to do with the tech and telecom bust and people tend to kind of Think about ARK Invest and Kathy Wood kind of in a very similar situation. However, she says that we are not the same. People are beginning to understand that the ground is shifting underneath is when it comes to technology and the benchmarks will get disrupted by the most massive disruption in history is what Kathy Wood and ARK Invest also talks about. So, you know, quite a few takeaways here. Number one is uh, talking a little bit about interest rates. So she is expecting maybe 25, 50 basis points from the Federal Reserve. Unfortunately, I got to be brutally honest here. Kathy Wood has been, you know, very, very wrong in predicting uh, the Federal Reserve's rate hike plan, right? I mean, I remember last year when we were covering these in the know videos uh, from ARK Invest and Kathy Wood, she talked about how, you know, she sees only a few more rate hikes from the Federal Reserve um, and then putting a huge pause uh, in terms of their, uh, quote, pivot when it comes to interest rate policy and then uh, potentially even cutting rates in 2023. And here we are six months later, still talking about potential rate hikes in the next two to three meetings. So nobody really knows what the Federal Reserve is going to do, right? I don't know. That's why I'm not here to make predictions. I'm here to actually see what the Federal Reserve is doing so that we can better assess what the current situation is and then make investment decisions based on what the Federal Reserve does, not based on what we predict the Federal Reserve is going to do, right? There's a big difference there. So that's number one. Number two, 
uh, you know, her saying that inflation is coming down. Uh, sometimes it seems like it is coming down faster than, you know, than, than what we have seen, but it is on its way down. Based on money supply alone is a little bit false because we've already seen that PC numbers in the month of January were higher. They actually went higher from 64 to 6.5%, even on a year over year basis. Sure, there might be some seasonality factors. And she also mentioned that, um, you know, because of those seasonality factors, it will all play itself out towards the end of this year. But it's going to be a little bit uncertain still. I, I doubt inflation is going to be trending lower as quickly as what many people anticipated uh, because we had a really good string of inflation numbers coming down since June, July. Like we had some good six months of energy prices rolling over uh, and overall inflation also coming down with used car prices coming down. But now it's it's a really a question of whether shelter prices are going to come down or not, whether rents and whether food prices, food away from home, food at home, like grocery prices, like those are the real question marks because people still feel inflation on a day-to-day -day basis, right? If you ask any consumer in the United States, do you feel inflation right now? They will most certainly tell you yes, even on a daily basis, like if they're paying rents, if they're buying groceries, if they're buying whatever it is they need on a daily basis, they're still feeling the pain of inflation. So even though the numbers on an aggregate basis may suggest that inflation's come down from June, July, the pain or the main problem is still there. So, you know, in 2023, again, it's going to be really a question mark on shelter prices, food, and, and, and as a whole, what inflation ends up doing. Because if inflation doesn't come down, the Federal Reserve couldn't care less about what the economy does. Because again, we kind of date back to 1970s, what happened when Arthur Miller's, uh, you know, William, William Miller and Arthur Burns both combined pretty much resulted in inflation going higher, right? It was very, very significant in the double digits. And Paul Walker had to come in and raise rates to 20%. In fact, they did that a couple of times before. And then once again, inflation went right back higher, right? Because they loosened policy and they then they decreased interest rates and the inflation, you know, got spiral out of control once again. So that is what the Federal Reserve is trying to avoid. That's exactly what Jerome Powell has told us several times. He's told us premature loosening policy is out of question. And they really, they, they believe that the pain of inflation over longer term is worse than the pain of recession in the short term. So their real focus when it comes to the dual mandate between unemployment and inflation, guess what they're going to pick? They're obviously going to go after inflation to solve that problem and eventually everything will play itself out. So 75 basis points right now is what's priced in from the market. That's what the Fed Funds Futures is telling us. And now I'm not saying that that's exactly what they're going to do. It, it just depends, right? It depends on what inflation numbers we get over the coming months and whether it actually starts trending lower um, or starts to stagnate, right? I'm still in the camp of stagflation a little bit. For some reason, Ray Dalio's analysis from back in June of 2022 still kind of hits home to a point where I think the Federal Reserve will have to chart a middle course where they'll have to understand and accept the fact that inflation is going to be higher for longer and it's going to be closer to 5 to 6% stagflation type economy where interest rates might be in line with where inflation is. And that's really going to be an environment where neither growth, neither speculative or value stocks really tend to outperform, right? It's going to be mostly long duration bonds, more cash flow generative companies, more dividend stocks that end up actually doing much better. So we are seeing a bit of a stalling at point right now with the markets. We kind of had a very strong January and February. We are starting to see a little bit of sideways consolidation. In fact, for this month, we are slightly down. But uh, let me know your thoughts on, you know, what Kathy Wood has to say and Towards the end, she also says the benchmarks will be disrupted and this will be the most massive disruption in history, uh, according to her. And, and of course, innovation stocks to the moon uh, is what pretty much I got out, out of that of that uh, you know call there. So thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate it. Make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and the link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below. Let me know your thoughts. I've already shared my opinion that I'm a little bit more on the stagflation camp at the moment for 2023. Uh, but again, I'm not going to be making any predictions for what the Federal Reserve is going to do because we don't know. Nobody really knows, right? Whatever predictions anybody's making about the Federal Reserve um, is either lying to themselves or just doesn't know what they're talking about because nobody can predict what the Federal Reserve is going to do um, moving forward with interest rates. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. As always, happy investing, and I'll see you all in the next video.